Hi, my name is Rubidium. Welcome to another edition of Learning Curve. This is a series where I try out different filmmaking tools and technologies and experiment with how easy or difficult they are to use and how quickly you can get up to speed. Today we are looking at the Easy Rig. This is a device made in Sweden that started appearing on film sets a couple of years ago. It's essentially a backpack with a long arm coming out the back that then tilts over at a 90 degree angle and has a wire that um, comes down and suspends the camera, taking a lot of the weight so the operator is free to put it in different angles and different places without actually having to carry the weight in their hands. That weight is redistributed on their shoulders and the hips. For such a simple piece of film equipment, it's not particularly cheap. I say simple because it really is, you know, a backpack with a pole and a, and a spring. But uh, the mini max that goes from six to 16 pounds that I tried out is still like $1,300 US. Um, to put that in perspective, the Ronin S, um, which is a, another way of getting some handheld shots, um, is only about $600. And that has all the electronics and the batteries and um, everything that goes with a brushless three axis gimbal. The reason that the Easy Rig is so expensive is that it's all constructed to a very high um, degree of quality. If you're putting $40,000 plus on the edge of this wire, then it really needs to hold. It can't be weak or it can't wear out. It has to be comfortable to wear all day. And the manufacturers of the Easy Rig have spent a lot of time and research getting something that is the maximum of comfort and reliability. Having said that, you can pick them up uh, secondhand for eight or nine hundred dollars, and I rented one for a day for fifty-five dollars. So they're while expensive, they're not out of reach of most filmmakers. First thing you do is adjust the height of the pole to where you want it, and the height of the backpack to your particular body frame. Uh, I'm on the taller side uh, and on the broader side, uh, but I was able to just move around a couple of straps and um, get something that felt really comfortable. Next step is to pull down on the um, wire that's suspended above the pole and attach it to your camera with this very well-designed clip. It could be a different, there are different attachments if you want to bolt it onto your camera, but since you'll be taking it on and off, this is a really good way and it um, fitted around the handle of my Canon C200 really easily, locks really quickly, uh, and it felt very secure. So this Minimax works in a quite in a 10 pound range. So you have to tighten or untighten the tension of the wire so that you get a setup that lets your camera um, basically float, meaning that uh, once you pull the wire down and place the camera where you want it, it won't move from there. It won't drop further down or won't spring back up. It took a couple of tries to get the tension right. There's a big dial on the back, which you actually can't access while you're using your camera. So you'll need at least two people um, if you are gonna adjust um, the tension of the arm and the tension of the wire. I got it dialed in pretty quickly um, and it was, much more comfortable and much easier to use than I thought it would be. We've looked at some more complicated gear in this series. We looked at the Steadicam and a geared head tripod, which took you know, over four hours to get up to speed with. With the Easy Rig, I put it on and straight away I could use it. In fact, anyone could use this thing um, once you have it adjusted for the weight of your camera and your lens. What it does is just take all the weight out of your hands, let you get any angle you want, a super high angle, a super low angle. You can tilt the camera looking straight down and you're really just holding it in position with your hands. You're not bearing the weight of the camera at all. It's like it's weightless. It's like the camera just floats. My camera isn't particularly heavy, but you certainly feel it if you start to hold it in a weird place for a long time. When it's suspended like it is on the Easy Rig, it is just, a dream to operate. You can get all kinds of interesting angles. You can operate in a handheld way at hip height, at shoulder height for a really long time before fatigue starts to set in, which means that you're more creative, um, you're more responsive, and generally your day is easier. I also tried adding the Easy Rig to a shoulder mounted setup. So I put on my um, shape arm extension and had the camera on my shoulder. I adjusted the dial of the Easy Rig arm back so that it was hanging straight down. And 
it was probably one of the best shoulder rigs I've ever used, despite not even having a shoulder pad. I just had the 15 mil rails sit straight on my shoulder where the Easy Rig has a nice pad from the um, shoulder strap. It, again, it just felt like the camera was floating there. Like there was absolutely no effort to hold it. And I had much more um, freedom of use. I had much more um, ability to operate uh, than I would if I was being weighed down by a shoulder pad. My hands were totally free to uh, adjust the lens, adjust the aperture, adjust the menu of the camera because I wasn't needing to hold up the weight. I have to say it kind of took me by surprise how simple uh, this device is to use and how intuitive it is. There's no real learning curve to this at all. You put it on, you attach your camera, once you have the weight adjusted, um, it's absolutely effortless. One thing that the Easy Rig doesn't do well is moving shots because uh, your hands are moving still and then it adds the added movement of your hips as you walk. So I did try this, I wouldn't advise it. Um, it is much uh, more disruptive to the equilibrium of the camera than just walking handheld. This is very much a way to get stable sitting, standing, kneeling shots. It's not great for uh, moving around. A solution to the movement is placing a gimbal on an easy rig, which I've seen people do online. Um, they use the overhead arm and wire to suspend, say, a Movi or a um, Ronin, and that takes the effort out of carrying the rig around. This is definitely something I'm gonna try in the future because I don't love uh, operating gimbals. They're really, really hard on the shoulders and the easy rig, while it's gonna add another $1,200 to that setup price, Easy Rig is definitely a way to make a gimbal easy to hold and still take the movement out. Easy Rig do make an added accessory of a sort of mini Steadicam arm that hangs off the top of the Easy Rig pole and isolates the movement of your hip and shoulders from the camera. This is more expensive and I didn't try it out, but if the Easy Rig Mini Max is anything to go by, it's very much a plug and play solution. If you are planning on operating handheld um, or you really need to move quickly um, through multiple setups and you don't want to be moving a tripod around um, and you're going to be shooting a long day, I would definitely advise checking out an Easy Rig. As the name says, it is very easy to use. Definitely makes operating handheld a thousand times easier, lets you be more responsive to what's happening on set rather than worrying about how sore your back and shoulders and arms are. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Yeah.